Hi guys, this is Ashok. Uh, okay, so in this video, I will show you on how to create a gradient color instead of uh, one color. So we mix two colors or two shades or two tones in one uh, shape. Okay, so it will look like this. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's start. Start with the width. Okay. And now, to do that, it's easy. Let's say we are going to use the rectangle tools. You create a rectangle, and now the fields is uh, gray. Okay. So to make it look gradients, you you want to have gradients colors. It's just click on the fields, and then you choose at this side. Okay this one color fields you change to see there are linear gradients radial angular texture field and so on uh, right now let's say we use linear gradients okay choose that linear gradient this one all right and then this side this um scrolls the scrolls okay indicates what colors uh, the first color and the second color or the second color the first color is okay you see this one will be quite light it's here okay and this one at the end is quite dark it's here so the colors travels from white not white I think it's gray travels from grayish and then become darker and darker until it's towards the uh, black color you see all right from gray it's gradually gradually move to black color so to change the color it's easy you just first you have to select here and then you choose any color let's say we choose this rate okay you see and let's say this color we're going to choose the light rate or maybe it's somewhere there all right so like that okay so now you have the gradients for rates from light rates until the dark rates so how to change uh, the positions you can do like this just click you see so now it's gradually change from the, uh, the top will be quite dark and the bottom will be quite light okay so you also you can change the locations of uh, the gradients so like that okay now you have your gradient color so, all right so let's see we are going to set up a scene and uh, let's see I want to make it quite I think this one so okay, this one all right so let's say I want to create a scene whereby uh, the background color I'm going for a gradient color um mm -hmm. say so linear gradient okay like that like that okay and I want to make it blue so I don't want to use this kind of blue I'm going to refer to this website colorlevels.com okay and this colorlevels.com is a very good website for choosing colors all right and then you go and select colors okay, here and then you just type any color that you want okay, let's say this one I want to find blue colors so there are lots of blue tones blue hue from different hue different tones different shades uh, I think there are 67 page of blue in this uh, search so maybe I'm going to use only these two blues, okay? Many blues and Christmas blue. Copy the hex codes. And this one will be here. Okay, select and paste the hex code there. Alright. So this is Christmas blue. It's here. Paste there. Okay. All right, and then you can adjust there. 
That's not bad. Oh, maybe this blue is quite. Alright, cool. Okay, what I'm going to do next? Maybe I want to create a tree. Okay, by using rectangle tool. Okay, this one. Okay, this tree will looks uh we have uh what we call as smooth corner okay press d and you select the corner and then you just click here and drag and you can get that kind of looks okay something like that okay okay that right. I'm going to give it green color light green light green uh, yep this one add in this one fills oh I'm going to use gradient tool as well okay so change to linear gradients this one will be dark yeah you can also make it like that okay so this one will be no, no, this one I think this one will be for the bottom part this one will be for the bottom part okay and maybe this this one okay, let's see maybe this can okay this one maybe the top okay now you can change Okay, so you have gradient three there, and just add another rectangles, and give it color. Yep, setting. This one I don't want, I don't want to use gradient but just color fill. Alright. Then right click uh, arrange bring to center backward. So now this one there and uh, create create shadow simple shadow for this one by using um hmm, pen tool that this one the fills will be based on this but fill. all right oh, no. I don't want border this is what border here oh there's a there reduce to 50 percent and control down button so to have the shadow so group that group them group these shapes into one right click group selections or you can use ctrl g so now you can yeah con uh, or and then you can duplicate shift alternate shift alternate click okay. yep shift alternate drag Okay, so yeah, shift open and drag, shift open and drag. So now you have four trees, all right. Four trees that looks like ice creams, and we're going to add 
or this one I think we group again group selections this one called three uh what is that power ah you just give whatever name that you like and then we can create another tree this time by using uh, pencil yep maybe you can use the same color gradient yep this one disable the borders click borders click borders okay and this one i'm going to make it a little bit dark so it'll be placed at the background yep all right like that okay and again using <laughs> color will be the same like this one okay transform no sorry. arrange backwards okay put shadow by core Copying, sorry, copying this and give it a little bit darker. This one. Yep. So now you group. Okay. And we want to bring this tree backwards. Click, transform or arrange backwards. You see? Alright. And now you can adjust the size, maybe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Shift, alternate, drag. Shift. This is too big. Maybe this one will get smaller. Yep. So you have variations of three size. All right. Shift alternate drag. Yep, this one may be quite big, it's bigger, sort of. Oh, you can make it this going to be a little bit darker. So now you have different size of trees. Yep. So now these trees are in gradient color. This one is solid color. So what else? Oh, maybe you want add to add another trees at the back. So to see the V so there. There, so there, right click, send to backwards. This one, this one, send to back. Okay. This one, the color will be bluish, like that. Is it okay? now this is among this is the example of how you can use gradient colors okay in your illustrations or maybe you want to put a few things mm -hmm. I think this is enough as for now all right so okay guys thanks oh maybe another last thing I'm going to create a cloud no. Yep. 
by using ellipse tools like that and shift alternate click make it bigger shift alternate click this one shift alternate click this one like that looks like clouds yep sort of okay all right select this for ellipse eclipse eclipse ellipse ellipse sorry so it is for ellipse yep okay and you go to this uh compound shapes onion union three union not onion onion is different thing and this one you can create uh gradients okay linear gradients that, that. but this shapes i'm going to no. Going to make it a little bit lighter. Yep. Sort of. Okay. Cool. And then you can duplicate this. Shift alternate. Okay. Make it smaller there. You can adjust the appearance. Okay. You can also flip this horizontal so it looks different shapes shift and click then shift and click this is one be far away Okay, I think that's it. That's all for gradient tools. Okay, until then, we see the to the next. Uh, see you again in the next video. Bye bye.